Hi everyone, so welcome to Tech Compilation. So today we are going to discuss one of the scenario into the Dell Boomi, like suppose uh, by using the on-premises integration. If we are doing anywhere, we are supposed to read the multiple files which are stored into the local disk and that we have to read and how we have to write that content of the multiple files into the one single file. So here uh, we will discuss one of the scenario. So we have used the local disk connections for to read and write the files. We have used the data process shape which help us to combine the multiple documents. So all the documents here we have taken as XML types of the documents. So that is going to combine all the multiple documents by using the XML profile element into a single document. And we have also used the local disconnection to write the files. So let's quickly see the one of the process we have created here. So in that process, if you see the we have used the connector set. So that is the start set I have used and that I have configured as a connector set. So in that particular connector set, the connector type I have put as the disk. The purpose of this action is to get the files. So here in the connection, if you see, I have given the directory path for my on-premises computer. The operations, so how the operation is configured here. So in that operation, the file filter criteria I have put at the XMLs. I am using the wildcard file matching type. The maximum file rate to zero, which indicate the n number of files that can be read by this process. And this checkbox indicate that the files could be deleted after reading. So our start save connector configuration is completed. This is the try catch for our the in the case of the exceptions handling. So this is the most important uh, save that is called the data process save. So here we have selected the processing step as a combined documents. So in that particular combined document, we have selected the what kind of profiles we are using while we are combining the documents. I have used the, this profile as a XML. This profile is going to look as a this contact xml dot profile so let's see quickly what is the profile so this is the profile of the contacts in which there will be the repeating structure of the contact okay and the id first name last name email state that will be there okay so these are the xml files the structure which is supporting the xml So, on which element, so this combined element indicate what is the element or by which element you are going to combine all the document to make into a single document. So, I have selected the contact. So, each contact will be going to represent into a single document. So, while we create the one single file, so single document, which will have the contact as the repository. Okay. There is the also options like if you wanted to combine that particular document into the new profile which we have that you can also select and you can choose the new profile with new element. So we are not going to do that. So we will stick on the existing profile. Here I have used the one property called the set property set. So that is basically uh, dynamically during the runtime. I am setting one of the properties for the disk file name. So I am going to create the file by using the user defined file name. So here the file name will be look like as a static value is the contacts that will be contacts hyphen after that it is going to put the current date which is in the yymdd and hhmms format so date and time and the static value of the XML. So I am creating one contact XML. We will see how this file looks like. Again, we have taken the same disconnections. So, one we have taken the connector steps. And here we are using the uh, connector disk. But the action type is the same. 
not the gate. So the connection I have used the same connections you can see. So the directory structure is this time the different. So documents output. Here the operation is write to disk output. So here I have given create a unique name if I exist. Create directory if does not exist. So if the whatever the directory structure we have provided into our disk connection, if that is not going that is not going to exist, so it is going to taken care by this operations and the file naming options we have the different option. So as per the need we can select. So here I have selected create a unique name if the file exists. So that will be taken care by that. Here you can see in the archive, I have also taken care of the archiving file. So after writing the file, it is the inbuilt feature of the like or you can say the post processing option for disk operation. So that is also going to put the that written file, the created new file into the archive directories. I have I think forgot to tell here also so in this operations I have also put the archive files in this option so if you see here so after reading that files they are those uh, after once the read will be completed they are going to delete the file and they will also archive this file so this is archive will be the input archive and while writing they are going to archive into the your output archive. So this is the output, output archive. So I just wanted to show you the folder structure how this is look like. So I have used this combined. So if you see this is the input document. So this is my four input document. You can see. So this input document is the like contact. So one contact, two contact, three contact. And four contact. So total, I have the four contact uh, XML files. Inside that input, we can say the archive is empty. Moving back to the output, we can say in the output no files is there, and the archive is also empty. So let's run this, and we'll see what happens. Let's say. To run this, we need to make sure we have to select our local item. So this is my the local item. So let's see. yes. So we can see here we have the four documents. So that is fine. Okay, just go to the log. We can see here in the log. Okay, so you can see here the file. So it is going to read the four files. I think. Okay, so you can see the Jan Doe, Jan Smith, Jan Doe again, John Smith. So it is the four files. If you see here, found four files to read. So our the local atom by using the local atom connections, okay, our connector is able to get the four files. Then the data process uh, four document found for the processing. You can see here the deleting file after it. So each file it is going to read and delete, 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 delete. Four documents found for the processing, okay. Running this executing try try catch save you can see here. Now we can see loading process model combined document executing try catch save executed running 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 executing this combined document so that is nothing but our the data process executing with four documents in so input for this step is to the four documents. What is the output completed with one document out? So, which means that data process save is capable enough to merge the multiple file into the single files. Save executed successfully, completed try catch. Yes. So, in the log, we can see. Let's visualize from the backend how this is going to behave in the backend. 
so let's go to the input so we can see here input nothing is there you can see the four files are archived here although so this is the predefined that file let's open this you will be able to see this files so this has been archived here files now go to the output you can see one file has been created here so this contact file you can see the four contact one contact two contact three contact four. so this has the four contact so one single file now merge into the all the four has been merged into the one files looking into the archive we can see that is also archive over there so once you we'll see this is the board scene so now we are able to see from the log as well as the from the back end we are able to successfully combine the multiple document by you uh, in the on premises integration uh, this can be also achieved while we are using the cloud integration into the one documents so thanks for watching this video thank you very much